Hello, welcome to another video of our MDCN series. In this video, we're going to learn how to elicit the signs of appendicitis. But before we begin, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. There are five important signs of appendicitis that you need to know how to elicit. The first is called the Bloomberg sign, which is just a fancy name for rebound tenderness. How we elicit the Bloomberg sign or rebound tenderness is using our fingers, we dig in into the right iliac fossa while looking at the patient's face and then we quickly release. If it's positive, the patient will have severe pain in the right iliac fossa. Number two is the McBurney sign. How we do this is we need to locate the McBurney's point, which I explained earlier in the GI examination video. So how we locate the McBurney's point is we draw a line from the umbilicus to the anterior superior iliac spine. One third away from the anterior superior iliac spine is where the appendix is located. So to elicit the McBurney sign, all you have to do is just use one finger to press down on the McBurney's point. And if the patient winces or swims in pain, then the sign is positive. Number three is called the Rovzing sign. So the Rovzing sign is basically when palpation of the left iliac fossa causes pain in the right iliac fossa. How we elicit the Rovzing sign is by deeply palpating into the left iliac fossa while looking at the patient's face. If the sign is positive, the patient will have pain but in the right iliac fossa. Number four is the obturator sign. To elicit the obturator sign, we simply ask the patient to relax, relax your legs, and then we flex both the hips and the knees at 90 degrees and then we push on the knees to internally rotate the hip. By internal rotation of the hip, if the patient feels pain in the right iliac fossa, then we can say that the obturator sign is positive. Lastly is the psoas sign. So there are two ways to elicit the psoas sign. The first is we can simply ask the patient to raise their thigh against resistance. So start can you please raise, raise this leg, try and raise it up. And if the sign is positive, the patient will have pain in the right iliac fossa. The second way to elicit this sign is to ask the patient to kindly lie on their left side. Sir, can you please lie on your left side? And I want you to raise this leg up. Thank you. So we stabilize the hip and we try to extend the hip. And if the sign is positive, the patient will have pain in the right iliac fossa. Thank you, sir. This concludes how to elicit for signs for appendicitis.